Hey Fat Yoga friends! So today is day 27, 27, 27. <laughs> today we are going to slow it down. It will only be one move. Butterfly. I love this pose. Let's find a chair and start there. Um, if you are subscribed, subscribe! I sounded like really annoying right there. Sorry guys. So like, I would love it if you subscribed because we're pretty much best friends already. So you might as well. And more of this is gonna be happening. So yeah, do it. Okay, grab a chair, let's get started. See, I have two chairs here. Um, bring that second chair close to you. And that way you can do butterfly in a chair. <laughs> Um, the key to butterfly is um, just allowing your body to like drape over uh, your legs, um, knees being open. If your knees aren't this open, it's totally fine. A lot of people start off like up here. So if you're up here, then just sit in this pose until your knees gradually open. If you're up here, if your chair has a back, maybe even just like reach for the back and gently press your legs open. If you're feeling like this is still like too much, you can take a block and place it under your hips on your chair. <laughs> Center the block. And then find your pose this way. It's always easier to find butterfly when your hips are a little bit higher than where your feet are. And the main thing about being in a chair is like there are people who just aren't capable of getting on the ground or they can get on the ground, but can they get up off the ground? And I love being able to offer these modifications, these var like variations to the poses because I know people appreciate it so much. And for those of you who know yoga, who are comfortable getting on the ground, you don't have to do this version of the pose, but you can do this entire sequence on the ground and feel good about it. And then when you're ready, go ahead and press up into your chair. If you're using a block, just kind of help yourself stand up. Maybe move that second chair out of the way and let's move these chairs with the block and let's find butterfly on the ground. So a bolster, a couple of pillows, something like that, to where you can lift up your hips, like grab that bolster. If you need a recommendation, I can probably make a video on this. Actually, I might, because I just picked up a few new yoga things. So you might see that video before this one even comes out, because I think I'm gonna film it today. My studio is coming together in my home, which is nice because post COVID, not a lot of people want to go to gyms. And I do have a few private clients who come to my home, which is great because I have a space where we can be in my home and practice one-on-one. -on -one. And it really helps because, you know, when you're practicing in person, you can really see every little tweak and lately I've been helping clients even over Zoom to where um, they can position their cameras and things like that so that I can see them better too. So if you are in the neighborhood for maybe just some extra attention for your yoga practice, I would love to talk to you. Um, I work with so many different clients at so many different levels. I'm gonna go ahead and press up when you're ready. And like I said, if you are in the market or if you, you thought about it and then you didn't really know where to start or maybe you just like like my style and you'd love to work with me, shoot me an email, tiffanycrow at gmail.com, double W, and we can chat more about it. But that was it for today's workout. I hope your hips are feeling so good. Three more days um, to reach the finish line. We got this. All right, guys, see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>